So today I want to talk about uh, turtle when the guy is there. And this can happen a few different ways, right? I'm going to have this. One is let's say, let's say I'm passing his guard. Let's say I'm coming this way, I'm stacking his leg, and he doesn't like it. So he rolls that way and turtles. See, look where I am. You see what I mean? That's one way it can happen. Here, stand up, please. Another way is let's say I'm trying, I don't know, some wild judo throw. Ha ha, not you. Ha ha, ha damn. You know? Look where he is, you know? So, so okay, thing number one, okay? Let's say that you're turtle, here, it's happening, and the guy's beside you, and he's here, okay? Right? He's got the seatbelt grip, which he should have. You know what I mean? So what are you going to do? The first thing you do is right now we're parallel. I'm going to move so that I am effectively perpendicular to him. You see what I mean? I go from here, right, to here. And either he follows me or he doesn't. See, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So let's just say I move and he doesn't follow me, all right? I move from here to here. He doesn't follow me. This arm can now go here. You see? He goes from being effectively behind the plane of my arms, right? Turn. Now he's in front of the plane of my arms, right? Then he tap his knee, push, and here you are. You see what I mean? So, <clears throat> I'll do it one more time. So for whatever reason, the guy's beside you, right? Right, and he's here, right? And you move from here to there. You move to 90 degrees. And he doesn't follow you, so then your inner arm goes around his body, you tap his knee, and you put him down. You wouldn't get any points for that because it's not a takedown, but this, when you side control on him, is way better than him doing attacking your turtle from a sideways position. You understand? So let's, so let's say you also go from parallel to perpendicular, okay? And there's that space to move your arm around or whatever, okay? But let's say that his hand is, that is over you because he needs some purchase of you. Otherwise, you're just going to run away and go get on a bus or whatever, you know? Uh, he has like a pretty good, you know. So he's got something here, right? And you turn 90 degrees, but he doesn't follow you, okay? He doesn't follow you. So now, right, you just come up and look, you take his arm with you. Yep. You see what I mean? And that's probably going to be a verbal tap if you yeah, do it in competition, you know? Because you'll go from here, you know? You know? And let's say his hands aren't even together. He's just got a hand here. You make that space and then, ah! yeah. <laughs> See? Yep. Right? You know, and the guy be like, -ka 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 -ka! you know? And then the referee and he's skilled, be like, that's a verbal tap. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, so he's beside me. He has the seatbelt grip, right? And when I turn, he turns with me, right? And so what do I do? Okay, let's go back. As I turn, and he turns with me, I'm going to, I want him to turn crocodile. I guess it fits. I'm going to crocodile bite his arm. Then I'm going to suddenly lay down, and then I'm going to roll, right? And he's going to, right? As I go, he goes, and ha ha! And then I come up here. And you'll notice I'm still pinching this arm, right? And now I'm on top of him, right? But, the, you know, it's not done yet. I want to back up now. I let go of this. I let go of this, right? I hold this and look at the referee just to see if he's going to be points. He shouldn't, but I'm just going to look at him anyway. <laughs> we all know that's not a sweep because they didn't start guard. If anything, that's an advantage for him because maybe he almost passed my guard. Well, I'll just look at the referee for a while. And then maybe the referee says to me, you know, that's not points. And then I penalize the referee for talking to him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, then you, you push your tailbone into his elbow, yeah. and you push this up, and you make yourself this nice helicopter landing pad. You know what I mean? And then you can mount the guy, and then you look at the referee. Yeah, and then the referee gives you your four, you know? And then afterwards, the referee will say to you, ah, when you turtle swept the guy, or turtle rolled the guy, how could you were looking at me? You're like, I wanted to see if you were going to give me points. And the referee's like, it's not points, man. I'm like, I know, I was just looking at you. Anyway, this is what I learned years ago in judo, and uh, it works super well, you know? You yeah, do it all the time. Yeah, I do it all the time. It works great. You know what I mean? And the thing is, even if you don't pull it off, it's not like it's making your position worse. Either you roll and end up on top of him, or you don't. He's, and he's still here, you know? Here, come on, let's do it again. One more time. So you're turtled, right? He 
you've made a mistake, you wound up here, you shouldn't want to be here, right? And then uh, you move from parallel to perpendicular, he follows you, you snag, right? And then you suddenly roll, and then ah, ah when, you, when you roll him, right? Don't be pushing on the inside of his knee, because then he'll put you in, here, yeah, he'll put you in this. You don't want that. You want to have your hand free. So I tend to grab the outside of the pan, and we land here. You see what I mean? Because you don't want him catching that, because this can lead to other stuff that I'll teach another time, okay? Right, you're here, and then you push your tailbone into his one arm, and you back your hand up to make your this nice, and then okay. Hoo-ya! What if the guy, rather than putting a seat belt, right? What if he just wants to put his hooks in, and he does this, starts trying to put a hook in, right? You should roll over the shoulder because he's making space, right? You should roll over the shoulder that's closest to him. As you feel him come up and start to do this, go and roll. See, oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? Here, we'll do it again. Not that it needs to be done again, but whatever. Right? So the guy, for whatever reason, has ended up here. Rather than putting a seatbelt on you, which is form A of containment, you know what I mean? He decides rather than making a seatbelt with his arms, he's going to go up and try and put hooks in. Just, yeah. Oh, Maybe it's a back take. Maybe you end up in your guard, but he doesn't. See what I mean? One more time, because that was kind of fun. <laughs> right? The guy's turtled, and you're rolling over the shoulder that's the side he's on. Right? And he is from here. Or maybe he never even was here. I don't know. He jumps up and goes, do this. Yeah, ah! Maybe you get his back. Maybe you get your guard. But he doesn't. He doesn't advance his situation. You advance yours. Okay? <laughs>